If you wanted to mark some of the parts that you've made on your cold Chester machine tools, well you now can because they supply laser marking tools, they're in stock now, we're going to find a little bit more about them. Part traceability is, is increasingly important in, in all sectors of manufacturing, not just in the aerospace and automotive, Keith, but why is that? The thing is, most of the components that are made nowadays need some form of marking on them, whether it be just for an ID, a brand or a logo. Uh, but as you say, traceability is very important. If they're going into a sub-assembly and then into a final assembly, companies want to know the history of that component. So they want to know who did it and when it was done as well. So it's a real critical safety aspect. Can be, yeah, especially in the aerospace, medical industry, that sort of stuff. We're finding it more and more uh, uh, useful for there. Yeah. So w how would people mark their parts historically and even in most machine shops nowadays? Well, the old-fashioned way of doing it was letter and number stamps. We've all tried that. And yeah, and I'm may, awful at it. Absolutely maybe terrible. Maybe missed, yeah. Um, you've got uh, dot peening, which is noisy, slow, chemical etching can be dangerous with the chemicals etc. Quite messy. Machine tool engraving, you're using the machine to, to engrave a part rather than manufacture a part. Um, the laser just takes over and is so quick. Okay and then those cycle times really are, how fast are they? Seconds, seconds. Uh, we've done some demos recently where t you know to mark a part that was taking you know 30 seconds on a dot peener we're doing it in three seconds. And what kind of materials can you laser it? Surely there's some reflective materials you, you can't touch? Yeah the reflective stuff glass is, is difficult you need a different type of laser but all the metallic uh, materials. Even aluminium? Aluminium, stainlesses, uh, the, the hard horrible materials, the ink and etc. Uh, we've even marked wood, paper, leather, you know, pens that we do. Are, so generally are, are, you're okay with literally everything yeah. except glass? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We, um, plastics as well. Um, we did the ear tags that go in cows. Oh, okay, fair enough. So, okay, so obviously it's, it's totally applicable to any, pretty much any material and kind of part, but the box here, let's look at the, the this model of laser. It's, it's a really small box. We've got a, an automation system, a little palletization system here, which we'll talk about later, but the box is really small. I mean, can you just drop this anywhere in your shop floor? Yep, yeah, this is the entry level machine, which has got a manual door. Um, it's a desktop, it's made to go, designed to go on a desktop, 13 amp plug, um, plugs it straight in, the guy, our technical manager will uh, deliver, install and train you, all you've got to do is plug your, your laptop into it um, and it's like a little 2D CAD system um, and it'll and it teach you everything you need and to know. And that's all in one day? All in one day. Brilliant. So you don't need any three phase plumbed in, don't need any compressed air and you get trained, and it's working within the day? No, and we can put uh, fume extraction on it. If you're doing a lot of continuous marking, you do get a little build up of fumes. And we can also put rotaries in there, a little fourth axis unit. So if you need to do a radial, a radial etch? Yeah. Which is perfect the, if you've made a round part on your Colchester lathe. Yeah, you can, you can actually ro synchronize it so you can rotate the part, or you do get a certain amount of leeway with marking down the side of a part, but it's all to do with uh, focal length. Right, okay, fair enough. And moving on to, what are the automation options here? Because I guess the cycle time being really quick, you probably have a person stood here, unfortunately, changing the parts over. Yeah, this is actually a little turnkey that we've done, uh, where it's a manual machine, uh, but we can load a number of parts up, two, two lots of parts, while it's marking. Yeah, I love this. You can, it's like a pal little pallet changer yeah, for a laser marker. Yeah, pallet changer, yeah, yeah. Um, with some of the other versions of the machine, um, going up to the, the um, mini lays and the zeta lays, we can um, combine it with a, a robot as well. So, uh, yeah, robot loading is not a problem. And what kind of volumes would you need to, to use, start using a robotic automation system for the laser? Yeah, if, as soon as the volumes start to go up, we can have a little pallet system uh, with a, uh, a robot connected to it, uh, auto door system, and you can walk away and leave it. Just leave it running. If someone needs a laser marker today, then how long is it going to take to get one and which ones are in stock? In stock, we can normally deliver in a couple of weeks. Really? That's a fantastic turnaround. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so in a couple of weeks, you can hang up your punch and die set. No more mistakes, no more getting that little punch wrong. Get a laser marker, get in touch with Keith or come to the Colchester Tech Centre to see a demo today. Yeah.